Next up is Senate District 11, which now includes all of Carleton and Pine counties, five townships in far southern St. Louis County, and slivers of Kennebec County in the southeast of the district, and two townships in far northern Chisago County. The incumbent in Senate District 11, Republican Jason Rarick, did not respond to our invitation to this program. The DFL challenger in Senate District 11 is Michelle Boyetchko of Tamarack. Hi, my name is Michelle Boyetchko. I am running for Minnesota Senate District 11. I am a mother, a wife, and a small farmer that lives in Carleton County. I grew, was born and raised in Duluth, Minnesota, and I moved to Carleton County about nine years ago where we started a small farm. Um, I decided to run for office after the Supreme Court draft was leaked, um, and then there was the, the shooting racially motivated shooting in Buffalo, New York shortly afterward, followed by the Evaldi, Texas shooting. Um, the following morning after that shooting, I was sitting with my two teenagers. I have a 15-year-old daughter and a 17-year-old uh, son who were getting ready for school the next morning. And I was drinking my coffee and just trying to hold it together until they left for the morning, thinking that um, as I give them hugs and kisses and say, I love you and have a good day, that um, a lot of other parents in the United States have done this and not seen their children after school. Um, so to me, that was a really scary thing. And so I decided that something had to be done and I decided to uh, jump into the race for Minnesota Senate. Um, but now that I'm here, I want to say that I am unapologetically pro-choice. I stand with women. Um, we need to have access to safe, legal and accessible abortion. I am pro Second Amendment with regulations, however. My family owns guns, we use guns, we hunt and target shoot. Um, I don't want your guns. I don't want to take them. I want to reduce gun violence. I want to do things that involve more than just legislating gun ownership. We need to deal with things that cause gun violence like poverty and a sense of no options. Um, I am also pro small farm. I want to um, help small farmers get back into the market all over the state. Small farms are being gobbled up by um, large agriculture and developers looking to build subdivisions. Um, and as a result, the small towns just kind of crumble and close up. I want to help get them back into the market by encouraging them to use regenerative practices and building their land up, making the farms more resilient to the weather changes that we've been seeing the last several years. Um, and when small and medium farmers do better, small towns do better. Um, when local farmers are making money, they're spending that money locally. Um, so as that, um, the money stays local rather than buying back stock interests or giving CEOs another bonus. I'm also pro-union. Unions and farmers are the backbone of the middle class Minnesota. I will work to support uh, employees' right to collectively bargain and I will help them stand up for their rights. LGBTQ rights are human rights. Love is love. Marriage equality must be codified. The Supreme Court has said as much that they're coming next for the rights of the LGBTQ um, community. No one wants to make your child gay. We just want the children who are gay to feel like they belong, to be loved, and to make it to adulthood. Um, Black and brown lives matter. There's still a lot of inequalities uh, faced by people of color in our state. Uh, we have to admit there's a problem first before we can solve it, but we need thoughtful and informed legislation to work toward more equality. Minnesota is rich in natural, re natural resources and poised to lead the nation in mineral extraction for our transition away from petroleum. We must ensure that this endeavor, that we do not destroy our irreplaceable resources and poison the water, soil, and air for the generations to follow. I believe we need to partner with the indigenous tribes and listen to what we can do to help them maintain their tribal sovereignty. Um, and a great education is a Minnesota way of life. We need to fund education um, in a way that provides for an equitable learning experience.